Hello Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Very nice relationship. And mind you, some of you may have already gone through this and some of you may be experiencing this now. The rest of you, if you have not, you may experience this in the far future. Well, this person really has betrayed you and they have decided what they want to do. They have already made a decision. A lot of cards here talk about change. All right, so we have here from the top, we have relationship, then we have creativity, abundance, illusion, awakening, death and rebirth, betrayal, play. Then we have beauty under the bottom of the deck. So. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aquarius, I have decided that I want a long-term committed relationship with you. Many moons, many nights have gone by when I've stayed awake in bed and I've thought about you. I think about your shining face, your beautiful face and how happy you really do make me feel. I haven't felt this content before. It's been a long time someone has made me feel this way. And all I can think of is being in a relationship with you. I do feel the need to create something with you. Create something long-lasting for the world to see. But I also know that if I was to create with you, there is a possibility that this bond could break because there's a part of this connection that I feel is not so solid. You make me feel as though there is a lot of potential in me. I feel prosperous, prosperity and growth when I'm in your company. 
here I find that there is a lot of abundance. This abundance enriches me. I learn and I gain things from you. And I hope I'm able to teach you good things. But together I feel we make a great team. I feel we make a good power couple where we can save resources and create a better future together. But I hide all of these feelings. I hide behind a veil, behind a mask. I watch you from far away behind this curtain. And I let you do your own thing. I just observe you. I don't tell you how I feel. I don't want to tell you how I feel. Because it will make me look very weak. And I do not want to look weak. I've had time to reflect and I've thought long and hard about this. I have come to an awakening moment where I'm seeing things from a different perspective. Everything has changed. I'm not the same person I used to be. And I can see there are certain things about you that have changed. I can feel it. I see things from your point of view now, not from my own, not from my own selfish point of view. Certain things have happened in the past and what I wanted to do is start something brand new with you. What I want to start is a new relationship on a better footing, something that's a bit more solid, where there is equal give and take. I simply want a second chance. And I want and I need this second chance because I know that I have betrayed you. And because I hurt you so deeply, I now realize that it's important for me to try again because I have had an awakening moment. I realized what I want. What I want is you. This betrayal that occurred, I have acted very unpredictably and you thought you knew me, but it turns out you never knew me at all. I know I must have seemed like a stranger to you at one point. As though, who am I? And because of this, this is why I hide. How can I show my face to you? This is why I hide behind an illusion. Because of what I did to you. Even if we can be friends, I'm happy with that. I want to be in your life somehow, Aquarius. In your eyes I see mischief. I want to play with you, I want to have fun with you, I want to build memories with you. Certain things we did not do before, certain things we could not do before. I see in you that you have this beauty, so fine, so beautiful on the outside, but equally as beautiful as a human being on the inside. On the inside, 
is where you have this charisma, this charm. Your personality, your character. It is unlike anyone I've come across. You are like a ray of sunshine on that cloudy day. When I look at you, it's as though I've seen a piece of heaven. All right, Aquarius. Like I mentioned earlier, change. This person is slowly realizing that they want you. However, so much has happened between the both of you that at this point, they feel lucky even if they can be a friend, even if they can just somehow start communicating with you. For them, that would be a big thing. All right, I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. And this will show us what is causing the issues in this connection. All right, we have power and then we have oppression. Here, we have a situation where this individual is feeling oppressed by another's power and authority. They are feeling insecure. There may be a little bit of passion, passive aggressiveness because of the type of situation that they're in. And there may be power here being used to manipulate one for personal gain. So this person, it appears as if they may be in a situation where they are oppressed by someone else, where they have to follow the rules, follow the budget, because they are with someone else or they are under someone else, meaning under the shelter. Maybe someone's taking care of this person. Maybe they're living with someone and they're in the basement apartment and they just can't pay rent. So they have to maybe do extra chores, for example. I'm not sure, but... It's just an example. Here we have power. Someone has authority and power over the individual that you are looking into here, Aquarius. And they have to abide by certain rules, by certain regulations, and they don't like it because they don't have freedom. And that is a problem. Because of this, they're also feeling a sense of insecurity. Am I worthy enough? Am I old enough? Am I rich enough to be with Aquarius? This person doesn't feel that because they can't even help themselves right now. So they are not in the position to help you. Here we also have oppression. This card talks about depression, difficulties, and difficulties releasing something or someone. So, not only is this individual accountable in a way to someone who is higher up than them, but they're also feeling overwhelmed and oppressed by the circumstances and emotions that they feel for you. They are confused. The situation seems to be quite overwhelming, but hidden forces are at work here. Things are supposed to improve in the future, but it may be a while 
because this individual is not just depressed on their own because of the situation with you, but they're also depressed and upset because of the situation wherever they are residing, whether this is family life, the residential life, their work life. This is something on an external level that is causing them issues. And you are just an extra factor. You're just that extra person in their life that is experiencing the negative impact of what they are going through. So there you have that. Ah, so this person does not, you know, they, they may have financial issues. And so they might be actually very dependent on someone else to help them. And for that reason, the time, effort, energy that they may be trying to dedicate to you, they just can't. They can't. They have other responsibilities right now. Oh, see, responsibilities, 10 of wands, total burden, total responsibility, shoulders are weighed down by issues. Holy Hannah, talk about depression. Five of cups, this person is so depressed, they are only dwelling on the past, thinking about all the things that they did that were wrong, crying over spilled milk, but not looking at the opportunities that are really being presented to them right in front of their eyes. They're not looking at that. Aquarius, this person is very passionate and fiery. They do want to come back into your life and sweep you off your feet. However, and some of you, not all of you, may relate to this. Five of Wands. The people that this individual is with or the authority that they are under these are people, a whole bunch of people. It could be a family, it could be friends. This individual is being influenced a lot by those people. And they could be, this individual that you're dealing with could be um, believing and being easily influenced by rumors. This could be these people saying that, you know, don't be with the Aquarius. It could be anything, but there is external energies here. These energies are people. Here we have the Five of Wands, and it talks about conflict, disagreements, arguments. These cards are not good. It just shows a whole lot of struggle, which is exactly what the oppression card was about, depression. And a part of this individual's heart, they really do want to come back into your life. They want to sweep you off your feet. But it also almost seems as if it is a player energy. They haven't really learned their lesson yet. They haven't regretted. They're not crying. They are depressed. But have they healed from the depression? No. The cure for the depression is not jumping into the connection again. The cure for the depression is to go through it, see what you can handle, and see what the solution is. After that, when you see what the solution is, you need time to heal. The healing process has to occur in order for somebody to stand up, wake up, and be wiser. There's a process. This person does want you, though. Totally. The Empress card. They feel that you are every type of feminine energy, nurturing qualities, um, this could even go for men. Um, men are nurturing as well. We have father figures. Um, this is somebody who really thinks that you are just every single queen in the deck. You are beautiful. You are abundant. A long-term thinker. Someone with promise. Someone who's very fertile. Growth where there's a lot of prosperity, sunshine. A person that can always solve a problem, 
always look on the brighter side of life. This is you. This is what they see you as. I mean, you know, they see you as, wow, the pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. That's what they see you as. But it's just hard getting to you right now. It's not easy. And there's a lot of conflict, inner conflict that this person has, plus external conflict. There's other people out there. So Aquarius, is this person going to take any action? No, not yet. They really have a long process to go through. They have to heal a lot. But do they love you? Yes, they do. You have the Empress. They wouldn't be depressed if they didn't love you. Because they are sad, that means that they do feel for you. I have here Archangel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Let's have a look at what the angels have to say. Yep, there you go. Like I said, this person needs time to heal. And the angels are saying here, it's not the right time. So they are also reiterating here. This is from Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Recovery. So here I see you need recovery, plus this individual needs recovery. Health. Health is wealth. You have also gone through a lot of stress, anxiety, even depression. Some of you have. If you do feel impact of negative energies, you can... Go to my website and purchase the Holy Light Package. It helps you remove negative energies from your life. Here we have, it's up to you. So the angels are saying that you have a choice. You can either be with this person or you don't have to be with this person. You can move on because it's going to take a while for this person to heal. And it's a matter of manifestation. You can only manifest, however, if negative energies around you, inside of you, and around your aura, if they're gone. There are going to be big, happy changes. They are telling you there's no need to worry. That's excellent. Oh my God, people. You got the best card in the deck. Romance. Oh my god, I love it when I see this card. It's so damn gorgeous. Holy smokes, I love this card. Romance. Oh, look at this. Situation will improve. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius. This person's going to completely change. All right? Not the right time. What you need to do, for those of you that want this individual, give this person the time. They need time to heal. Absolutely gorgeous. Big happy changes. They're going to be big and you're going to be happy about them. These are going to be changes. There's no need to worry because the situation will improve. And you are going to experience spiritual romance. So you are actually spiritually connected to this person. This is why your health, both of you, your health have, has been down. It's not been feeling, you have, both haven't been feeling well for some time. On some level. Here we also have, if you believe, so you will be able to manifest this. Aquarius, I see this going far. I see this, it's good. And all it requires is time. For those of you that have had enough, enough is enough, don't worry about it. Move on. You still have an option here. It's up to you. If you choose not to be with this person, there will be another timeline out there already made for you. Just pick it. Pick which destiny you want and start following it. All right, Aquarius. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance. And thank you once again for tuning in. I will see you guys again. Take care and stay safe. Bye now.